Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about something that, that really needs to be said, uh, and it's borderline comical how much people push fad diets again today. Um, and and it's, it's ridiculous because so many people have been extremely obese and gotten to healthy body fats without these extreme diets. Uh, I'm one of those people, by the way. Uh, I lost over 100 pounds when younger. And, and this is me in these videos. I mean, I'm, I'm about to be 47 years old. Uh, I have been 300 pounds fat when I was younger and lost weight. Um, and, and to me, the idea is comical that people need some of these bizarre diets. Uh, and, and again, I've been a coach for a long time. I've been in the fitness game for, uh, you know, around 25 years. I've seen all the fads come and go, and I've, I've watched all these crazy diets get branded, and they all contradict each other. And it's amazing how many of these people who promote all these different diets, they conflict with each other, but theirs is the only one. Theirs is the only key. But ironically, their diets are not producing the most fit people on earth. You know, uh, and what I mean, you'll see vegans, you'll see the carnivore people, you'll see the, the extreme keto people right? They all act like their diet is somehow the magic secret and that this food that they avoid is the cause of all obesity and disease and yet none of their diets are producing the best athletes or the fittest people, okay? I want to be clear. You take any of those, ex those extreme diets. How many people do you see at the world level in any sport? How many people who you see who are the best physique competitors, who have the best physiques, the best bodies? They're almost non-existent. I want to be clear. These diets, none of these extreme diets are producing winners. You have a few people who've lost a little weight on them or have done mid-level stuff as athletes. Of course, they'll get highlighted in documentaries of how amazing they are when they're ranked uh, 537th in the world, you know. Uh, you see the problem there? You know, it's like don't highlight a guy who barely made the NFL who's doing one of these fad diets for a year and then breaks and has to quit. If your diet isn't producing uh, multiple Super Bowl winners, uh, you should probably just stop. Right? Quit talking about it. it's success in athletics. Okay? Same thing, you'll see someone who runs a, a hardcore all-on carnivore diet who maybe is some mid-tier physique competitor somewhere. Or some vegan who's, who has won a really small regional natural bodybuilding show. Okay? That's, that's, that's a problem. In other words, that's kind of showing that your diets suck. I want to be clear there. Given how many people use these, these different bizarre extreme diets, given how many people use them, the large number of people now who do everything from vegan to deep hardcore keto, not even cycling keto diets, people who are like, I go weeks at a time with no carbs. People who do carnivore diets. There are thousands and thousands and thousands, if not at this point, millions of people doing all these, these extreme diets. You would think if they worked, people would be winning who do them. Okay, given the, the pool of people who use them and how popular they are in different fitness circles, you would think you would see, uh, you know, physique competitors, the top five, at some national level event would all be using these diets. One of these diets, you would think there'd be, I don't know, nine or 12 guys at the Super Bowl who use one of these diets. Consistently, you would see this stuff consistently if they worked. You know what you do see? A lot of balanced diets. You see a lot of people who, I don't know, they do uh, chicken, rice, and broccoli type diets, right? People who eat meat, people who eat carbs, people who eat vegetables. 
these people are winning. The, you see these people winning all these things all the time. You see different variations of that, of different forms of clean eating or people who just eat balanced diets and try to keep their protein pretty high, track what they eat. You see those people winning. You see those people absolutely shredded while keeping all their muscle. You see those people competing in different strength sports at very high levels, right? Those sort of diets you see people who, who are lean and fit and healthy lifting insane amounts of weight. You see people making millions of dollars in sports following those sorts of diets all the time. I mean, I, the track record, and this is before we get into dietitians and registered dietitians and experts saying, yeah, this, this works better. These sort of approaches work way better than these really bizarre exclusionary diets that cut out whole food groups. You see them saying it? Yeah, it works better. We know that. Okay, set that aside and just look at the anecdote. Who are the fittest people on earth? They're not the people who are following vegan, hardcore keto, carnivore diets, or any of these extreme diets. So if the most successful people at these fitness endeavors are not using these diets, why do any of you think that you should? Because some influencer told you to do it who's making money on it, who is still not at the high levels in anything, right? But because they have a niche, it allows them to not be particularly good at any of it and still sell you something, right? You ever consider that maybe that, that crappy diet style that they're using is actually part of the problem? Maybe that's why they're not better than they are? Or if you consider they maybe they don't even follow it and they're just selling you something? Because if you go look at groups and forums everywhere, plenty of people are getting no results following these approaches. They're not the best approach. Stop following these silly extreme diets. And I mean, that's the other thing. If you see people literally competing at elite levels in sports, sometimes even in their 60s and 70s, following some of these diets, the more balanced approaches, people who are cutting to extremely lean body fats while keeping their muscle and strength, you see all this stuff, and yet those people all eat carbohydrates and meat and dairy usually, are you really going to deprive yourself of one of these food groups so that you can follow this goofball fad diet? You, you're really going to subject yourself to that knowing that there are people doing a hundred times better than you who still eat those things? That that's not the problem? It baffles the mind. It baffles the mind that anyone even falls for any of this crap. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.